Spider-Man Homecoming came out in 2017 and is directed by John Watts and starring Tom Holland as Peter Parker in Spider-Man. This movie is about his ongoing battle with the Vulture, who has an excellent suit design. There are definitely some strong relationship dynamics throughout the film. I felt the tension between Tony and Peter build throughout the movie, starting as a solid mentor-mentee relationship. Peter has a tendency to find problems to fix, causing Tony to clean up his messes, and the more strained the relationship becomes. By the end of the film, Peter's solution to a plane robbery is to destroy the plane in flight, causing a crash with tons of collateral damage and deaths in the process. I found myself yelling at Peter throughout several points in the movie, and for bringing out this type of engagement of me, I must give this film a solid 7 out of 10. Spider-Man Far From Home came out in 2019, and it's directed by John Watts and stars Tom Holland as Peter Parker in Spider-Man. This movie is about Spider-Man being recruited by Nick Fury to fight the Elementals, which starts showing up when he's on a class trip in Europe. Tony is dead at this point, so Quentin Beck, aka Mysterio, is the new hero for Peter to look up to. When Peter receives the start classes, he decides to give them to Quentin, which is probably the dumbest thing he could have done. I love Quentin's true outfit, which is revealed to be a mo-cap suit, since he's a visual effects artist. Speaking of visuals, the visuals were incredibly done in this movie, and it definitely seemed realistic. Because of the two plot twists that caught me by surprise in this movie, I will have to give this a 7.5 out of 10. Spider-Man No Way Home came out in 2021, and is directed by, yet again, John Watts and stars Tom Holland as Spider-Man and Peter Parker. This movie is about Peter handling his identity being revealed to the entire world. His friends can't get into college because they're linked to Peter Parker, so instead of calling the university, he decides to involve Doctor Strange and asks him to cast a spell to have everyone forget him. Peter's thought process is incredibly naive and flawed throughout the film, and I found myself agreeing with Doctor Strange multiple times. The visuals are much trippier than the previous two films, and this was filmed mostly on blue screen which was pretty fucking amazing. I was pretty happy with the cameo performances, which made the ending even more sad for me. Overall, I must give this film an 8 out of 10.